Hello, I'm Joel here from Bell Property Cairns and welcome to another Palm Cove market update. Well, 2023 has certainly been very wet thus far up here in tropical far north Queensland. Uh, only in the last week or so we've had nice weather and some sunshine, finally. Um, we have, however, had a bit of a low season again this year after seemingly skipping it the last, the last year or two. Uh, occupancy levels in the resorts and Airbnbs have dropped as per usual for this time of year, but it still feels a lot busier than the low seasons of many of the pre-COVID years, which is certainly looking promising. Uh, we are now, I feel, on the tail end of the massive growth spurt that Palm Cove property has experienced over these last few years, and now returning to more of a balanced market maybe. The last quarter's figures are still showing growth for both houses and apartments, although not at the 20% plus figures I've reported to you in these past market reviews. I think Palm Cove remains in a fantastic position and I'm optimistic that we'll continue to see growth in this market. The median house price is currently $970,000, an increase of 9% over the last 12 month period, and average house price in Palm Cove is now over 1 million at 1 million.05 million, an increase of 8%. There were 69 recorded home sales in Palm Cove in the last 12 months at a total dollar volume of 72.3 million. That's down about 30% total sales from the 98 that sold over the previous rolling 12 month period. The median apartment price is now at 385,000, an increase of 3%, and the average unit price is now 499,000, a decrease of just 2%. So the average price has actually dropped slightly by 2%. There have been 166 recorded apartment sales for a total value of $82.8 .8 million in Palm Cove over the last year which is down from the 251 sales in the previous 12 month period. That's a 34% decrease in the total number of sale of apartment in Palm Cove. Currently in Palm Cove, there are 69 properties advertised for sale on realestate.com.au. There are at the time of writing this just 18 houses and 24 units that are listed for sale and not advertised as under contract. So properties that are genuinely available for purchase. As I had predicted, this is the first quarter in over a year where the stock levels have actually slightly increased, albeit not by a lot. I think that due to the now higher interest rates and occupancy slowing a little over this period, we will see stock levels slightly increase again, which may give buyers some more options around their purchases. That said, the market will remain quite strong and buoyant. Personally, I have handled more sales in the suburb than any other agent, once again, uh, with 37 sales total, and Bell Property Cairns has sold 59 properties in Palm Cove over the last 12 month period. We've sold 23% of all agent sales in the suburb in this period and retain our market leader title for Palm Cove once again. If you are considering selling, I am more than happy to provide you with an obligation free market appraisal and discuss the best method to achieve the highest possible price for your property in the current market. If you haven't had your property valued in the last few years, you may be pleasantly surprised at where it sits. Thank you so much again for watching my Palm Cove market review for quarter one, 2023. And I hope to see you on the beautiful beach in Palm Cove.